Now here, we have some missing number multiplications. But for this first question, the missing number is just the answer. That's because it doesn't matter whether the equal sign is at the start or at the end of the calculation like it normally is, we do exactly the same thing. So we just need to work out 109 times 7. So we can use short multiplication. 9 times 7 is 63. 0 times 7 is 0, plus 6 is 6, and 1 times 7 is 7. So our answer is 763. Now we have 6 times something equals 732. So one of the numbers in our multiplication question is missing. And when this happens, we need to use the inverse operation, so we need to use division to find the missing number. Using short division, 7 divided by 6 is 1 remainder 1, because 1 times 6 is 6, then we need one more to get to 7. Now, 13 divided by 6 is 2 remainder 1, because 2 times 6 is 12, but then we need one more to get to 13. And finally, 12 divided by 6 is 2, because 2 times 6 is 12. So, our missing number is 122. And here, something times 7 equals 525. Again, whenever one of the missing Whenever there's a missing number in a multiplication question, we use division to find our answer. Now for this question, if we look at the first digit, we have a 5, but that's less than the 7 we're dividing by. So let's take the first two digits together and work out 52 divided by 7. That's 7 remainder 3, because... 7 times 7 is 49, but then we need 3 more to get to 52. Now, 35 divided by 7 is 5, because 5 times 7 is exactly 35, so our missing number is 75.